Breaking news, breaking news. Giving all praise to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah by Shem Rakak Wadash. And I'm going to entitle this uh, video Finland and Sweden Join Alliance. And the alliance is with NATO, the North Atlantic Treaty Organization. This is a, this, this image that you see right here is, is live. It's still going on. If you go to this page, matter of fact, let me do this. And prophecy is coming to pass, man. There will tarry, wait for it. It shall not tarry, it shall surely come. Habakkuk 2. It says here, NATO chief uh, Stoltenberg holds news conference after inviting Finland, Sweden to join alliance. Live. This is live. You don't have too many people watching this because they don't understand how prophecy works. You know, all you biblical people, Christians, you know, that, you know, focus on prophecies, you should be watching this. But you think this is like a secular peak group of people getting together. This is, this is uh, the prophecies being fulfilled. The feet of it, Daniel you too. You know, the, the, the uh, Daniel 7. You know, um, Revelation, most of Revelation, Revel, uh, Revelation 17, you know, the uh, 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 Revelation 12. These are these nations coming together. But the main, the main two that come to mind, the first two that come to mind is Daniel 7, but mainly Daniel 2, because it mentions the feet, the feet of it. Because there were two visions. There was two visions, the Daniel 2 and Daniel 7. One was, the vision was of various type of animals. And the last animal, the fourth beast, was different than the other beast because it had multiple heads and horns. It looked like a, a monster. You can identify the other beast, right? You know, the, the, the lion having eagle's wings, Assyrians, Babylonian, going into the Babylonian Empire with the Babylonians are Assyrians. The, the, the King Nebuchadnezzar was an Assyrian. He wasn't a Cushite. Although you had Nimrod, he was a Cushite that ruled Babylon, but it was actually the Assyrians later on that ruled Babylon. They was Assyrians. The kings of Babylon, of ancient Babylon, were Assyrians. But there were two separate, you had the actual Assyrian Empire that took over Israel. Then you had the Babylonians, which the, the kings were Assyrians. So you got the, the, the first, the, the, um, the beast, eagles, eagles, um, a lion with eagle's wings. And it propped up on its, you know, it, it propped up on two legs. Then you have the bear, which lifted up on one side. Then you have the, uh, what else? The, uh, I believe there was a leopard in Daniel 7. And then you have this beast that you couldn't really, it looked like a monster. It had all kinds of heads. Roman Empire 1 and Roman Empire 2, which includes NATO. The rebirth of the Roman Empire is NATO, NATO and the EU, which includes America and Canada. There should be more. You know, there's, there should be more than 387 people watching. All you so-called religious people, you Christians, you Bible thumpers, you should be watching this. But you don't watch it because you think this is a political meeting. It's business, world business, global um, geopolitics. This is, this is Bible prophecy. And we hear at Great Millstone, and then you got other Israelite groups, one Westers that sees it and they, and, they, and they seize upon it and they filter it through the scriptures. Daniel, the second chapter, the, the vision is different. It's the head of gold, the Babylonians, the, uh, the breast, the breast or the shoulders, that area is the uh, medial Persians. The belly it represents the, the, the Greeks and then the legs represent the legs of iron represent the pagan Roman Empire 2,000 years ago, or thousands of years ago, let's say. 
And then you got the feet. The feet are what? The feet, part iron and part miry clay, is talking about the union of the NATO nations and the EU nations and how they're breaking up. Great Britain, there was a thing a couple, two, three years ago, three years ago, four years ago, was talking about Brexit. Brexit meant British exiting the EU. But guess what? Great Britain is still a part of NATO. So even though they left one part of the beast, the uh, financial and political side, they're with the military side. So these are two more nations, which, by the way, Finland is a so-called white European nation. Sweden is a so-called white European nation. You can even, even say that NATO is a, is a racist organization because the only nations that are allowed to join are so-called European white uh, uh, people or nations. That's right. Why, why, why aren't they calling racism? Why aren't they saying discrimination? Now, on the other hand, the, count, the, the counterpart of NATO is the BRICS nation. Um, uh, what is that? Uh, Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa, Iran wants to, wants to be a part of it, and Argentina. And if you notice, the BRICS nations are nations of different colors. India are people of dark complexion. Brazil are our people. They're actually Israelites. So this is prophecy right before your eyes. NATO chief Stoltenberg holds a news conference after inviting Finland, Finland, Sweden to join alliance. So this, we're almost out of here, man. Don't tarry. Wait for it. It shall not tarry. It shall surely come. <clears throat> at the end it shall speak we almost I'll be surprised if this man goes another if he goes uh, to July of 2023 I'll be surprised a lot of things are going to happen within the next six months I believe this is going to be a hot summer in more ways than one and anyway with that I'm going to say Shalom on to the next one